Hello guys, the TV Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have I Love Tootsie Rolls versus Dominator, and this is going to be a new format match, and let's just hop right in. We're going to go ahead, and we are going to see Dominator win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoe, and they'll decide to go first, 44 versus 40, opening hands, we have Roxy's, Ash, Fire, Fusion Spell, Talons, going first, this is like the, the, the four card combo where you have like a prank kid, another prank kid, a Fusion Spell, plus talents this plays through like pretty much everything uh then they also have like you know ash talents fusion smell these are all going to work pretty well going second uh they have chaos space recharger nib ogre gamma oh okay so we see dragon link versus prank kid uh dragon link should have a pretty good matchup versus prank kid and they don't ash blossom that if they did gamma would have just been absolutely ridiculous so they're going to summon that out get rid of that go for striker dragon activate the effects also, you know, Ogre's becoming a lot more popular. It's good versus the Brave Token stuff. In this deck, it's also a Light Monster, which is really good. Banish, Special Summon out. Chaos Space, go ahead, put back the black, draw into another Chaos Space. And then they're going to turn those into a Romulus. Romulus and White, go search out Black, and then go search out Ravines. So, I'm guessing they're saving Ash Blossom for the Abs. They're not even going for Abs. Oh, they're insane. Wait. You can't even go for this, though. This card's actually really good. Um, started looking into this card more last night, actually, um, just because it helps make the vampire and, you know, mill force summon one's kind of crazy. Okay, yeah, so they are going to dump abs. I mean, that's kind of, you have to. Um, abs effect, chain ash blossom, which is actually pretty big here because now they just have to boot summon recharger. They're going to turn those into a seal. And then just pass turn, draw, draw, and Lockbird, which is really good against the opponent's deck. Um, normal summon, they're going to seal, bounce that, seal, graveyard effect, summon out from the deck. It's going to summon out abs. Now, talents to look at the hand, hitting the nib there. Uh, fusion spell playing through here. They know both of the cards in the opponent's hand. It's going to summon out the rocket ride. And then they're going to activate the graveyard effects. Roxy's banish draw, draw into a poly, which isn't a good draw. And then bring out wind, bring out water, burn for five. And then get rid of wind, go for meow. Effect, go ahead and dump the prank, summon out fire, turn those two into a doodle, and then activate doodle and water. Go search out the fusion spell. Gang a thousand, special summon out wind. Then they are going to go ahead and get rid of those two for a bow wow. Um, battle phase, beat over attack well you know it's gonna go search out rocket synchron that's follow up and then attack um with both so yeah i was gonna say you definitely attack with this uh they probably could have done their zone positionings better so that way rocket ride is over here so that way they can get an extra thousand damage in um so they're gonna tribute the add back and then rocket ride effect tribute the special summon that's gonna summon out water and fire and then activate pranks, set, end phase pranks to shuffle back and draw, put back rocket ride, Roxy's, and doodle. And then draw into an imperm. And then pass turn, uh, they draw safer. So they have the battle butler set up here with two Raigekis. The opponent has boot, which is a reborn. Um, they have chaos space. They just drew safer so they could go search Levy to force this stuff out, but it doesn't actually do anything because Bow Wow protects, so it really only outs pranks. Chaos Space, get rid of Safer, go search out Levy. You know, they, they were thinking there for a little while what to search, so maybe they play other targets too. And then they're going to banish, summon out Levy, um, Levy effect, chain Bow Wow. Um, say so they're gonna chain fusion spell, then chain bow wow. Okay, so add back fire, add back wind, and then fusion off. So they wanted to use the uh, fire from hand, which is why they wanted to chain it like that. Um, then you're gonna be getting the graveyard effects. So burn, summon out Roxy's, uh, gang a thousand, summon out, and then dump the summon. Uh, yep, go ahead, dump that. And then Chaos Space, put back Striker Dragon, draw into Chaos Space. It's hitting all three Chaos Space already. Um, then they're going to Normal Summon Effect, Special Summon back out from the Graveyard. They let this go, so now they're going to go for Propega Ruler. Propega Ruler and Abs Effect. 
It didn't actually seem like they used Ab's effect there unless they used it as chain link one. Um, okay, so they're not using it, which is interesting. I mean, they haven't used it this turn. The only thing that they've done so far is chaos based in the levy. They don't use abs to go search. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, now they're going to go for vampire. Vampire effect goes through. Yeah, see, we could tell that they played another target by how long they took to actually search out levy. So we see emperor, snow, tracer. Oh, driver two, another light. These are some really good mills. And then they mill. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and mill these. And then they're just gonna bring out the tracer off of the vampire, but they're actually gonna bring out snow, which makes more sense because they're gonna snow on battle butler, which forces out the effect of it. And then it's just gonna get set. So, yeah, they're going to summon out the Tracer, Rocket Synchro, and Recharger off a of boot, you know, a free soul charge, uh, go for Savage, Savage Effect, Equipping Romulus, and then Banish Saferd, add back the Armageddon, Banish, summon out Propega Ruler, get rid of those, go for Hot Red, and then up next, they are going to think here a bit, um, activate the Armageddon pay a thousand to add back and that's gonna put back Popega Ruler banish summon this out it should be up in the extra monster zone because it's a monster summon from extra deck so you know you have to put that up there because the pendulum uh, summon out Nocto then they're gonna banish special summon out black end phase yeah okay battle phase I, I was like end phase that's crazy uh, graveyard effect chain negate attack over Attack over, attack over. Um, okay, then main phase two, turn those into the IP. And then we can get a Nocto draw. Uh, Nocto draws into Black Metal Dragon. And then they're going to pass. Again, like this should have been up in the extra monster zone. Like nobody ever does that. I swear. They just don't realize like what this is. It's a pendulum. So... Um, this should have actually been forced to be linked away. They would have had black on board still because they would have wanted to, you know, get rid of Nocto to get the draw right there, most likely. Uh, draw Talons. So that's not bad, but they have Savage, IP, Hot Red, Snow, follow-up too. A lot of follow-up. Um, activate Poly. They're going to negate that with Hot Red. Switch to attack. Battle phase attack. This is where you use Snow. Um, so Snow will go ahead and set that. And then activate Talents Negate. Um, neither of these do anything now. So, yeah, I mean, they're going to normal summon it. The opponent's not going to do anything there, because why would they? Uh, so now moving on into the next game, we are going to go ahead and see Prank Kid go first. Opening hands, we have Fire, Reborn, Cosmic, Lancia, Ash. They have Quick Launch, Nib, Gamma, Destrudo, Chaos Space. Wow, so... Their hand's pretty solid here. Uh, normal summon, get rid of that. Go for Meow, Fire Effect, Chain Gamma, and then they're going to Chain Ash in response. So bring out the Roxies, and then get rid of those. Go for Doodle, um, Doodle Roxies. You know, they could have done the play that a lot of people have done, where you like normal summon, uh, go for Meow, don't use Fire Effect, Reborn, bring out Fire, and then you can like Chain Block. Uh, but either way, like, Gamma is really strong versus, like, this combo, even through Ash, because then they can't use Doodle Effect the Tribute and add back, because that's where they would Gamma. Uh, but then they're just going to go ahead and drop Nib here on the fifth summon, pass over the token, and then activate Reborn, summon out Doodle. Then they're going to activate Doodle Effect. You know, they obviously can't Gamma this. And they also can't Doodle put back Meow because this can't add back Lynx. Uh... Links can't add back links. Fusions can't summon back fusions. That's just like how the cards are worded. Uh, they obviously didn't catch that there, which is a huge difference because now they have Meow follow up. So a normal summon prank kit actually does something next turn. Uh, they draw boot. Unfortunate draw. Uh, get rid of Gamma. Go search black. Then they're going to drop Lancia. Activate quick launch. Quick launch. Go summon out Tracer. 
And then special summon out Destrudo, pay half the life points. And then they're going to summon that and attack. Uh, even if they summon Tracer and attack, it can't attack because of quick launch. So Nib attack over for a thousand and then attack directly for a thousand. Yeah, they just take all the damage at once. And then get rid of those, go for seal, and then pass, draw one for one. It's just crazy because, like, neither of them caught that Google okay, put back meow. They're going to add normal summon. Um, they're going to let this go. Goes for meow. Activate the effects. You know, lower these by 500. Uh, water, summon out fire, battle phase, meow attack, seal, seal, bounce back, nib. Ooh, okay, so... That works pretty well. That works pretty well. They're gonna summon hibernation, hibernation effect, add back tracer. And then they're not gonna beat over hibernation, playing around gamma. And then get rid of those, go for doodle effects, uh, burn for 500, add the fusion spell. They're not gonna special summon because, you know, that'd be playing in the nib. Tribute, add back water, add back fire. So they have the whole setup here for the battle butler, Regeki times two. They draw a driver. Then they're gonna banish Gamma, special summon out black. So the chaos space that they used last turn is actually doing stuff this turn. Um, they're gonna get rid of those, go for Romulus, and then effects, add ravine, and then add white. Then also remember that uh, hibernation has this effect. Um, they can't use it this turn, um, but it can like get follow up next turn. You can banish it and special summon out a dark dragon link monster in your graveyard. Then they're gonna go ahead and normal summon out tracer, uh, tracer pop Romulus summon out recharger. Here they're gonna go ahead and fusion spell, get rid of those, summon out the butter, and then. Uh, so they're gonna burn, summon, 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 dump, gang a thousand. And then they're gonna meow wipe those, activate the boot that they had hard drawn. Uh, boot effect special summon out from the graveyard. I mean, like, that was like kind of known because why wouldn't they have gone for Striker Dragon at any point in time? So like they, they probably should have known Boot was there. It wasn't that hard of a read. So they would have like known that that was coming back. Uh, go for Savage, Savage Effect, Chain to wipe that. Banish, Special Summon, and they can Chaos Space, put back black, draw into Nocto. Get rid of white, go for Striker Dragon. And then they're gonna activate the effects here of white and Nocto. So go search out black, summon out Nocto. And then Striker Dragon, pop itself, add Recharger, Recharger effect, Special Summon out Tracer, and then get rid of those to go for Quad Boral, Nocto draw into Ghost Ogre, and then Quad Boral, pop itself to summon out the Tracer and Recharger, uh, go ahead, go for Popega Ruler, Popega Ruler effect, Mill, they do hit the Spiral, the Galactic Spiral, they hit Saferd and Nib, uh, so they're going to go ahead and add back Saferd. Um... Activate Ravine, discard Saferd, go dump, dumps Levy, and then they can Saferd, add back Levy, then banish, special summon, activate the effect of pop, because they haven't bow wowed this turn or anything. Uh, then they're going to summon back out the Spiral Dragon. They could have also hit the card in hand, but that would have left them with a prank kit on board, which I guess. It makes us that way like a prank kit is a good draw. Um, you know, as long as like the, if this hits anything to beat over, then it would have been different. Um, they do hit tracer there, chaos space. Not a lot of options, so you really just gotta bring out tracer. Then they're going to okay, so they're not gonna pop the wind. I mean, they're not going to pop the fire. They're going to pop the wind. So that way they'd be able to beat over it with more top decks. Which is fair enough. Uh, attack for 6,000. Main phase 2. Pass. Yeah, they, they can't go for an IP because they use quad boral effect. This is not really anything that they could go for. Draw nib. 
And then, yeah, they just lose this one. Uh, one for one, get rid of Nib. Special summon out, win pass. They already went through Meow. All right, yeah, they're just admitting defeat here. They're looking at like their top four mills off Vampire. But, all right, that is going to be it for the match. We're gonna see that the match was about 48 minutes long. Also, you know, by the the lack of words that were said, you could tell that they were in a Discord, so they were testing. Um, we do see Dragon Link end up winning there. Uh, the Galactic Spiral is definitely something I would suggest more people test out. I haven't done enough testing with it to say like, yo, this card should 100% be in the main deck. But I 100% think that this card is worth testing with just because of how strong the Vampire was. Like usually this card was used to like make the end board. Or you could use that as an extender, but it was kind of like a little more you know, situational extender. Um, but now that you can use it to like make vampire and vampire says mill four, like pfft, that like changes it a lot for sure. Um, definitely an interesting card and you can always access it with a ravine too if you ever want to. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for the match. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.